Today, I want to find a very special house. In 1975, Magneta released her solo album, which pictured this iconic house on the back cover. The album was kind of a concept album, which started as 12 women in one house. 12 songs would be telling the stories of 12 different women. Agneta wrote the music to all songs by herself. In the end, it became 11 women in one house and the album opened with SOS, recorded by Agneta in Swedish. And this is the house. This place is close to the old town and you will have a beautiful overview across the island, which we will see together later. If you are at this address, you have to go down this alleyway. From here you can see the town hall over there. And when we turn to the left, there it is. The photo was taken by Ola Lager. He took many photographs for ABBA and their early solo albums, including Björn and Benny's Lücke, Agneta's two previous albums, Frida's debut album from 1971 and Frida's album from 1975. For ABBA, he shot the artwork for all of their albums between 1974 and 1979. Last year, we visited Alexandra's disco, where they shot Voulez-vous, and we visited the location where they took the famous artwork for Abba's arrival. Now the front cover for Agneta's album was not taken in this house, which you can easily recognize by the windows and their different shapes. This photo was taken at Ola Lager's apartment. As always, they really worked efficient and humble. There is the house, and if we turn around, as I promised in the beginning, we have this beautiful view across Stockholm. Let's get a little closer. This is one of my favorite places here. If you are in Stockholm, you really have to take this walk. In the center you see the town hall again, which is where you might remember from one of our location tours a very young Benny Anderson played on stage for the very first time. And speaking of Benny, he will lead us again to our final stop for today. Now, it seems to me that somehow Benny is always around the corner wherever Agneta and Frida are. Last time we visited Frida's actual apartment from the 1980s and we realized that Benny was not too far away from there. And today, just a few hundred meters away from the house on Agneta's album, you will find Benny's Hotel Rival. I'm sure many of you know it, but some of you might go, this balcony, where have I seen this balcony? Well, in 2008, for the very first time in 22 years, all four members of ABBA were seen together in public for the Swedish premiere of Mamma Mia! the movie. Agneta and Frida were together in the center, but Björn and Benny were to the far left and right, respectively. So it would take almost another decade until all four members were actually photographed together, side by side, again for a Mamma Mia! project, The Party. And that's when Voyage was waiting around the corner. But Mamma Mia! the movie brought them together for the very first time. And this is where we leave for today. I hope you enjoyed this tour. And if you have any thoughts about Agneta's album or Benny's Hotel, 
let me know in the comments below. Alright, until then, hey do! Thank you.